original team member you extracted. He knows what the epidemic is, and how to treat it. You'll find him in a mansion deep in the valley beyond the forest. He's a high-value target who's probably involved with Cypher's research. This information came at a heavy price. And you convince security on site is gonna be tight. Watch yourself out there, alright? Make contact with the target, Code Talker. And if the treatment requires it, extract him to Mother Base. Welcome back to my walkthrough for Metal Gear Solid 5, my friends. This mission is called Cold Talker. And surprisingly, during this mission, we actually have to save a guy called Cold Talker. So we're just going to move along the river, enjoying the sight. Even though there's a lot of mist in the air. Which, as you know, in Metal Gear Solid, that's usually a bad sign. We are going to be very sneaky during this mission and it can be a little bit troublesome but the next event is actually fairly simple to solve as I'll demonstrate if things go well of course. You know, sometimes I really wonder if it wasn't a 12 year old living in some sort of weird sci-fi creepy fantasy who developed this game, I have to be honest with you guys. When the male skulls were introduced they did not get this type of entrance and their outfits were very different. Something tells me that if their outfits were like this, well there, were, there would be a lot more people criticizing the game. But, nonetheless, we have to take out the skulls here and extract them. And it's more simple than you think, because their moving patterns are always the same, so you can memorize the positions that they're going to be in, and that makes this mission a lot easier. Oh, someone's got me on their side. Let's shoot that one. Usually, two or three headshots will be enough to put them to sleep. You can even CQC them. I will demonstrate that you can see QC at least one of them I'll leave the last one for that so let's shoot that one from here we have a pretty good sight there we go now she's going to run around and I can probably shoot that one as well she's not behind the rock so I should be able to shoot her well she's got me on her side so I need to crawl my way out of this one. Stop pointing your gun at me. Here I am trying to keep you guys alive when you really don't care if you kill me or not. There we go. There's four Skulls total, as you saw in that cutscene. Which, or maybe you won't see it, because as you know, in my walkthrough with cutscenes, sometimes Konami decides to flag my videos <laughs> because of the cutscenes, but if that happens, I'll obviously remove it. 
to be fair it's not like you'd miss a lot in fact during this mission there are a lot of cutscenes now another method that you can use to fight the skulls here you can use a smoke bomb or the grenade launcher with smoke rounds to create a cloud of smoke in front of you by doing that they won't be able to see you let's take that one out there we go, two down. But like I was saying, they won't be able to see you that way. And if you use your night vision goggles, you will, you will be able to see them still. And that really makes this mission a lot easier. But again, you don't necessarily need to do it. Let's shoot that one. I'm going to demonstrate here how the smoke rounds can come in handy. And I'll just select the, the night vision goggles. There we go. Pick up your sniper rifle and you can still see them. But they won't be able to see you due to the cloud of smoke. So this method works pretty well and it avoids you having to run around. Because as long as you have the cloud of smoke in front of you, they won't be able to see you. In fact, I might be able to shoot her again. I thought she was there. Uh, she must be hiding behind a rock. Or maybe not, because otherwise she wouldn't be able to see me. So I should be able to see her from here. Yeah, she's near that tree. Stop pointing your gun at me. Let's try this again. Smoke. And she should be there. Let's follow the line of her sight. She's going to keep thinking that I'm there. The, the skulls here, they won't be able to hear you until they actually spot you and enter alert mode. Then they will be able to hear you and they'll keep tracking you down. But as long as you avoid alert mode, then they won't be able to hear you. Unfortunately, two shots weren't enough to take care of that one, but one more shot will do it, and she's very close. So, yeah. You are going down. Okay, now let's take care of the last one. I am going to use CQC to take her out to demonstrate that it is possible to do it. A funny thing with the skulls during this battle, when you approach them, it almost seems like you can't use CQC, but you can, and I'm going to demonstrate it. Remember, you need to extract all four skulls. You'll need the wormhole fluton to complete this objective. Since you can't pick them up, you can put them on a jeep or something and extract them that way. So you will need the wormhole fluton. So you might have to come back to this mission later on in the game. If you don't have the wormhole foot on yet. Let's get that one as well. And now let's use CQC to take care of that last skull. Press R2 twice so that Snake delivers a punch and a kick and she will be hit by the kick, like so. Let's stand. There we go. And now before she runs away, she's going to be kicked again. There we go. Don't ask me why she jumps after she's been stunned. I don't get that either. But the skulls have the bad habit of doing that. So yeah, as you can see, you can see you see them. But obviously using the sniper rifle and the smoke screen strategy 
is more efficient, I think. And there are some risks to using CQC, obviously. Especially if you are playing on extreme, it will take you a long, long time to take them out, which I don't think it's worth it. But now let's get Cold Talker and witness another cutscene, a long cutscene. Like I was saying before, this mission, there's just a lot of cutscenes that do add up to your time, but it's still again perfectly possible to obtain S rank easily and at the same time enjoy all of the cutscenes. Even though the cutscene with Cold Talker to me doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's just the explanation that they give. And learning about the ultimate plan of Skull Face, it's, you know... They could have come up with something better, I think. But I'll let you guys decide. Going to use one of those magazines and throw it so that I can move the soldiers guarding the door away from the door. One of them is going inside, so but the other is going to stand here and keep watch. So let's throw the magazine all the way over there. Go check. And now we can calmly sneak behind the soldier. Not bad at all. And now we can go on ahead and meet up with Cold Talker. Again, we're going to witness another long cutscene. I'll keep it in if there's no copyright issues. If there are, then I will cut it out. But let's listen for now. Infecting my men. How do we silence get... or death? What he could be in here. Stay quiet. Your life depends on it. Sit. The parasite has infected your band. Those are its lava. They enter the throat and attach themselves to the vocal cords. They mimic the host's membranes flawlessly. No one can tell the difference. Upon reaching maturity, they mate. Sustained exposure to a particular sound triggers copulation. The resulting larva then feast on the host's lungs, killing it. Particular sound. It's 
words. They attack only those who speak a certain language. Not just one. I cannot say which language your parasites are attuned to. But silence is the best way to keep them from laying their children. This contains an herb that they dislike. That should deafen them for a while. You have bought yourself some time. Speak. Is there a cure? Once symptoms manifest, lava have already infested the alveoli. At which point, nothing can be done. There is a way to halt the onset which would prevent infection. I need your help. He stole the ones I sealed away, forced me to do his terrible work. Even a country like America sways in his wake. I could not defy him. The fate of Dene lies in his hands. However, perhaps the Nishia led you here. If my children have upset the Hojo of the world, it falls to me to set it right. Well, there you have it, my friends. Skullface's master plan. He wants to eliminate all languages aside from English, so it's kind of a mix between Hitler and the Queen of England. I can't really take this plan super seriously. <laughs> but as you saw, I threw a magazine to lure the soldiers inside the room and then it's very easy to sneak behind them that way. This area is heavily guarded. It's not easy to get past these soldiers. I'm sure some of them will be able to see me moving, but I'll keep myself at a distance where they won't be able to enter alert mode. So yeah, that guy spotted me already, so let's go around. When you're in the crouched position, as long as you keep a distance of above 20 meters at night time, you'll be good. So even if you see the white 
lights appearing. Don't worry too much. We're good. Victims of the experiments. Well, if we they take pauses to contemplate the fate of those I poor know. victims, then we might not there be good. Nothing I could have done. We have one more objective to complete. Actually, two objectives. We need to make sure that Code Talker is not injured at all while we extract him. Otherwise, we won't get the bonus points for that objective. And we also need to extract the tank, which is stationed a little bit further ahead. So we'll get that as well. Oh, that guy is going to get in the way. This is Pequot. Have arrived at LZ. We'll stand by. And that guy is going to get in the way as well. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to go around in a circle. Based on the enemy lines. So we're just going to slowly, there's the tank that we need to extract by the way, we don't want to get super close to it, that's right to key. you distract them, we'll lose them soon, we'll just keep following this guy down the hill, he won't turn back unless we're very loud. And now let's go around the hill again. We're at a safe distance. It might seem risky what I'm doing, but trust me, I know that I'm in a safe distance and that they won't be able to see me. I mean, they see something moving, they just don't know what it is. They have very bad eyesight. For soldiers, you'd think that their eyesight would be a bit better. But we're almost in the clear, so we don't need to worry because we're going to go down a hill now into the river and the enemy will stop following us as we step under the bridge analysis complete There we go, see? Stick close to the rocks and you'll be fine. And now, Code Talker is going to wait here a little bit. You keep an eye out for him to keep. And we're going to get the tank. And we're going to do so without taking out that soldier. Because we don't need him. Oh, and by the way guys, Another strategy that you can use for this mission, if for some reason you didn't take out all of the skulls, then all of the soldiers around this area, they will be in their zombie mode. So after they enter zombie mode, you can go ahead, take out the skulls and then they'll be knocked out and that will make this segment a lot easier. And you can still eliminate the skulls after after you extract Cold Talker. So that's something to consider. But no harm done here. We're going to get Cold Talker and get out of here. There's nothing standing in our way now. And we get a pretty big tank, which is awesome. There's the helicopter. We made it. Just throw the old man on board and we can get out. I could have put the enemies to sleep and if I had done that then it wouldn't have been necessary to go around in circles. 
So remember that you can do that. You can use your tranquilizer to put them to sleep and escape Extraction that way. Arrived at mother base. So there we go, S rank. As you can see, we found a way. And whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to press X that fast. But there's going to be another cutscene, my friends. I'm going to let you guys witness it. If I'm allowed to keep it, obviously. If I'm not, then the cutscene will be cut out. And that's just how it is. But thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all later for the next part. Take care. Boss, we found the bodies of the two missing Intel team members in Lufwa Valley. We knew we wouldn't get them back alive, but still, it's a damn shame. Don't let their sacrifice go to waste, boss. We need to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. That old man, Code Talker, he's the only hope we've got. Tell me how to fight it. I hid the answer in a micro this one carries. It turns the male parasites into females, preventing reproduction. One parasite infecting another. However, it doesn't affect only the parasite. It alters the host as well. Your infection will be contained you and your men will also be rendered infertile. That is the price you must pay to regain your speech. That freak show back there. May the work of your children too? A different strain from the vocal cord parasite known as the one that covers. It acts as the host's skin, providing strength in exchange for nourishment. But I did not know those men were infected. They were forced to serve him. Then steal my research. you seen one of their vehicles? Big uh, yellow cake. It's captured a convoy they were escorting. Cargo some kind of mineral. What became of it? The metallic Archaea. Out ahead! 